She may be missing things. Welcome back to Bear With Me, episode 2. Okay, so we're in the No Seagulls Allowed, so maybe we should just, uh... What? That won't work. I know. Wow. What? Seagulls. What? No? Oh, there we go. We summon the... Get out of my summoning circle. We now have seagulls, guys! Yay! What? What's happening? <gasps> Hi! Filthy beast! Ah, that one. That one over there. He's the Michael. I mean, he's the ringleader, Ted. You know? You know what they're doing, don't you? Seagulls. Yeah. Generally, they fly around looking for fish and making annoying sounds, but... No, 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 no. Open your eyes. Surveillance, Ted. Surveillance? They're the flying cameras. They monitor the entire city from up there. The seagulls? No, Bear. <laughs> They're just the means. Huh. It's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you too, Ted. Is that the girl? She's grown. Hi, CBG. Long time no see. It's been too long, kid. Why the hell would you bring her here, Ted? not safe for her anymore. What do you mean? The city is not your playground anymore, girl. Not since that monster showed up. You're talking about Red? Shh. Keep your voices down. Especially with all them birds around. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Sure. That... If, whatever. You know what? Whatever. What do you know about Red? What do you know about Red? Here's what I know, Ted. He came down to Paper City a week ago. And now he's burning it down from the inside out. Where did he come from? He just appeared in the city one day. But the trail leads to the woods on Sorrow Hills. And I have a feeling he was invited. Invited? By whom? Think about it, Ted. The elections are coming up. There's a new candidate on the rise. The one that was dabbling in criminal activity since forever now. King. Hmm. The He's one and only. <laughs> that seems suspicious, why? That seems very obvious, isn't it? Hmm, uh, the election's coming up. Do you think any candidates will be, uh, could have hired Red to cause chaos in order to win the election? Hmm, no, no, let's have a look at elections. Normal guy, normal guy, guys, who's a criminally... Everybody knows he's on criminally acts. Hmm, no. Uh, possibly, you know? What makes you think it was the king? Yeah. What makes you think it was king? Have you been to the mill? It's where it all started, Ted. I just the got here. It's such a sloppy job. You think someone was paying them off? Pigs. It's where we're heading next. Where? To the mill, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go there, Ted. Do a little investigation of your own. What drugs are you on? Are you okay? I'm, I'm actually concerned. I'm concerned for everybody, actually. And why would King do this? He already has an entire city in his grasp. Seems odd he would bring in someone to help him, especially someone who's obviously unhinged and hard to control. For his own personal gain, I mean, the casino is still standing. Unburned. Could be just a coincidence. It could. Just that I don't believe in coincidences, girl. H how are you? And, you know, how how are you? How are you holding up, B? We've heard you've been scaring the harbor workers around here lately. No, no, no. They're okay. Hard-working bunch, the salt of the sea and all that jazz. They get scared easily is all. Are you using your deep voice when you're talking to them? No! I got old. Hurts my throat <laughs> nowadays. I dig at the, the common trend of superheroes using deep voices of the whole thing. That is quite funny. Uh, uh yeah, by the way, uh, her, her younger brother is missing. Kind of important young boy. CBG, missing. we're looking for Flint. Yeah, he's gone missing and we fear the Red Man had something to do with it. Or at least, we hope he's hiding here in the city. Flint? You two came to the wrong place to look for him. Paper City is the place where people usually end up to go missing. Okay, so I gather you didn't see him. Did you have the time to look around, Snoop? The city's in chaos! I could have easily missed him even if he were here. Which I doubt. Honestly, can't even remember when was the last time I saw the kid. Millie told me he was missing since last night. Oh yeah, 
I heard about what happened to Millie. Poor gal. Sorry. Yeah, that was really sad. But how could you know about this? It happened last night, and me and the doll were the only ones there. News travels fast around here. Especially when you have a guy like Blabbermouth going around taking notes and whatnot. What happened to Millie? It was our fault. It was Who's mine, sorry. Man, girl? Even if you two were there, I doubt there was much you could have done. My words, exactly. But still. Anyways, there was no note. Nothing. It's like he'd vanished. Through the window. Coincidentally, we found some evidence that Red was at her house at the same time Kid went missing. It's just too big of a coincidence. The two are connected somehow. No such thing as a coincidence, Ted. You should know this by now. Okay, B. I'll bite. Let's say King really brought Red to the Paper City to get leverage on Mills. But what could King possibly offer to someone like this? There seems to be only one thing he's interested in. And you brought her right to King's doorstep. I know Red has been asking around about her. But what I want to know is why. Why? Who really has the power in Paper City? Is it the mayor? That pig? The shark and his goons? No, Ted. It's her. Amber. The girl. Yes. She made the city, and it seems he came here to tear it down instead. He won't stop until he finds her, and it seems Shark is desperate to arrange this meeting. But it seems to me, Red has his own agenda. This is what happens when you're so dependent on the tool you're using that it ends up using you! If I find out King's behind all of this, he's going down. For good this time. You go home, and stay away from the docks. For the love of God, you live in a mansion. It's where they gather, Ted! The seagulls! Oh yeah. I forgot about the seagulls. Come on, B. It's time to hang it up. I can't retire just yet, Ted. There's too much sadness on these streets. Still. Especially now that you're retired. You've heard about that. How could I not? The folks down at your old street held a two-day vigil. It's a damn shame, I tell you. Time waits for no bear, B. I got old. I'm slow. You're as sharp as a thumbtack, Ted. Always were. We have to go now, B. Do what you gotta do, Ted. Oh yeah. I almost forgot. I found this at the steel mill the other day. Take it. See if you can analyze it, Ted. What is it? It looks like some sort of a voodoo charm. This only proves what I've been telling you about King. Hmm. Seems a bit odd. King would leave something so obvious at the crime scene. I know. But at least take it with you. Maybe it can lead you in the right direction. All right, B. See you around. I hope you're a good golfer. CBG, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Clark fell into the water near the diner. Can you check on him and make sure he gets out okay? Sure thing, girl. I'll get that idiot out. Okay. What's he gonna do now? Okay, so we should go and see about the steel mill first, right? I was thinking maybe we could go and see Tigran Jones about the voodoo charm he found. What? I'm not going to see that witch. That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's a lead. If anyone can tell us more about it, it's her. You never listen to my ideas. It's always about you and your stupid oh God. clues and- Fine. Okay. Let's just hurry up. Voodoo, I mean really. But after that, we're going to the steel mill. Okay. That fella looks... out of place. Yoink. Aw, it's so soft and cuddly. Totally useless, though. Lovely. Uh, bye, CBG. Where can we go? Oh, we got one new place. Okay. Paper City. I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with this place. I have to admit, and hand it to Amber, she really made this city feel the way it's supposed to be. It's gritty, dark, dirty, and unforgiving. But most of all, it feels alive. It's almost as if the city itself could be a main character in some forgotten script on the desk of a writer who shot himself before he could write an ending. Everyone here has got a story to tell, and if you lend them your ears for a couple of minutes, you can find out just about everything. And in these dire times, that's the main reason why I decided to return. Well, at least I keep telling myself that. I have to admit, it feels good to be back. It feels right. Paper City makes sense to me. People here, they make sense to me. It was good to see Betty again. I would never say this in front of her, but I miss her sometimes, and I messed up. I did. It's good to see she's fine and well. She's always had an admirable joy for life, and I'm glad that hasn't changed. CBG, on the other hand, is 
getting worse by the day. Most of the time, he just raves on about seagulls and other nonsense. It's a shame, but he always had a nose for sniffing out the bad, especially in this rotten place. Our best bet now is to retrace his steps and see if he overlooked anything. My gut tells me we should follow the steel mill lead, but the doll insists we seek out Tiger Jones first. I have little faith in this voodoo nonsense, and I'll play along for now. In any case, the thing I know is we have a long night ahead of us. The doll and I, a long, long night. I like the seagull with the camera. What's the look of Vidi say? Never mind, I guess. Ted, it's him. He's here. Oh, go Ted, get him. What are you standing Ted. for you? Oh, hi. I can't. Oh! I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you... did you not see him? Him? The red man, he was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally Ted. didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I... I... don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay, just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, uh -huh. this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Why are you just standing there? Thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too. But now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. Huh. You're stupid. <laughs> oh snap, that's just got giant thing. Oh, what the. Hmm. Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. There's of no roof. I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No, because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm. I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. Guys, don't fight. If you fight, you'll split up, and that will be a very annoying thing we'll have to deal with. It's advisable to carry a piece of chalk with you at all times. How's it not soaking wet, you piece of chalk? Ritual notes. Oh, oh boy. Again, how would that eat you all know about what rituals are? What does it say? Back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10 year old. Oh, sorry, she's 10. At the 8th grade level, mind you. Oh, I'm okay, sorry. So now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. I, Let's do I, what you want to do, like I, always. Okay. Thank you. I, I I just I just got here. I just got here. Look, there's a ritual altar. For some reason. Couldn't be clearer. Love, fire, earth, water, air. Uh. Eh? Ooh. This would actually make sense if I was a lunatic, but let's play ball for now. Shut up, Ted. Be useful. The table is right. accepting my Judging gifts. That sound design cue. I'd say it fits. <laughs> uh. Hmm. So we've got fire and earth and love element. Can we? S okay, we'll come back to that. I am not touching that. 
end of discussion. You can even reach it. Why did I not think of that sooner? Oh, sh- Can't tell if these are teeth or ribs. Either way, that has no place on a wall. I think they're cool. Man, Ted, you're such a downer. Come on, cheer up. Two traveler, drown me in water, touch me with fire, bring me the mountains in the sky above. And for the last of these things that you have to bring is a sign of ill fated and forever lost love. Only then may you enter into the goddess's lair. Only then can you witness her everlasting glare. She can teach you all about the frickless, frickleness of life that starts with an embrace and ends with a knife. That sounds really nice. How uh, nice that she uh, rhymed it. Mayor's Mansion or Steel Mill? I think we'll go to the Steel Mill, I guess. Dude, it's Brian! Dude, look at this! Hey, don't touch that. I oh. have evidence. I... I... I wasn't gonna hit him with the pipe. Wait, what? Who are you? Stevie. Stevie, tell me all about this. Brian? What? I'm not Brian. I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're yeah, Brian. Yeah, you're Brian. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? <laughs> There's a missing boy. Of course it is. Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? No, no. He has a real mustache and it's better than yours. There's a missing boy! He wishes. Wait, so... Am I supposed to play along and pretend Ugh. you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian. We're totally oh, different. Oh, forget it. He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil make hair dangerous and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache. <laughs> look at it. That's oh. Sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not. Doll. I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Because that might be a federal offense. Might, might be. be. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around. For like a minute. Hmm. I don't know. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil may care, dangerous guy here. <sighs> Guess yes, I'm he is, Brian. Oh, whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. Uh? So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. Doll's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, Ted's getting dizzy fine. over here. What do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> haven't thought this through. We have a house. coin. Well, we don't have any money. What? You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back and you can actually follow up on your offer. Okay, Brian. Sure thing. I don't... You know, I don't, I'm not even gonna bother coming up with an explanation for this because, quite frankly, this whole game messes my mind too much. Oh, well, we'll come back and uh, we'll bribe uh, the... Uh, Good policeman Stevie. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Pat, 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 pat. Oh, man. I love this game. Just fizzes out my brain so damn fast. But I am enjoying it. Hopefully, you are too. But we'll get back to uh, bribing this guy next time. Because right now, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, why subscribe for more awesome content? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, yeah.